welcome to Vegas Live with Nina and of course now I'm doing Vegas Live with Nina because actually Tim Zimmerman was telling me Nina be careful when you say Nina uh, Vegas Live and I did not we won't talk about what it is but it's some kind of thing here in Vegas. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different website. It's a different website. <laughs> but I think it's a sex website or it something. Is. So I definitely don't have a sex website. So say it one more time. <laughs> Vegas, Vegas Live, Live with, with Nina. Nina and oh, there you yes. go. That's it. But anyway, but Tim is lovely to have you back. Tim Zimmerman. He's just an amazing man. And I was just talking because he does so many different things. I was finding out what he would like to talk about. And he said he would like to look up negativity that we have, that we can twist that around and make it into a positive way. But not only one thing, there's many things that you can make your life very beautiful. Yes. How do we do that? <laughs> uh, actually, the, the, the whole thing about me, for those that know me, they know that my, my main background was in corporate training, the, the Dale Carnegie courses, and then beyond that and into uh, mind development and all of that type of thing. One of the things that I, that I came to realize is that the programming that we have from, six, from zero to six, from birth to six years old, and sometimes even before that. Um, well, not that, before birth. <laughs> well, in the, many, oh, the womb. many yes. say in the womb yeah. that you still hear everything around your sure. environment. So that that time to six years old programs your actual Being. belief system. Okay. Right. Then from six to nineteen, because at six years old you start getting into experiencing the world and people in the world. You go to kindergarten, first grade, so on and so forth. What happens the pattern is, is form now. It becomes starts, a pattern. Yeah, it starts to be formed because you make judgments about yourself and about the world mm -hmm. and your place in the world. And it's specific that we look at the negative beliefs and negative self-judgment because those are actually burnt deeper in your neuroplasticity uh, is what neurologists call it. Is that, and I think we discussed this before, but when you're, by the time you're born to six years old, a lot of the conversation is no, don't touch this, no, don't do this, no, be careful. No, it's like this whole thing, no, so you, you're ending up being very negative about everything because you're afraid to do it because it might not be the right thing because it's embedded in your mind. Right. Not realizing at such a young age you're only being taught when the word is Well, no. nobody, the, the thing about it is that nobody, nobody has really addressed this. Even in the positive mental attitude movement that I've been in for the last 40 years, nobody has figured a way until now to go into the unconscious, subconscious, and actually deal with these negative beliefs and negative self-judgments self yes, and, yes. and neutralize and eliminate them. Yes. I wish I had this back when I was 19 years old because what happens is that we've been feeding ourselves all this positive stuff, the law of attraction, um, as you believe in your heart, it is done unto you. Well, the you. secret and all these things that the have come secret, out. The uh, secret, change your thoughts and change your life. and. All of these things, the Tony Robbins, yeah. the Zig Ziglar, the Bob Proctor, Jim Rohn. And they've made fortunes so on, so on this. They have. And the challenge with that is that if you keep putting positive on top of negative, it's just like a computer system. If the computer system is corrupted, no matter how many new bells and whistles you put on there, it's still going to be corrupted. Still going to be corrupted. So you've got to so, get rid of all that. Right. The negative part of it. Yes. If it was that easy to just erase, erase it. Erase it. What happens is if you erase it, you erase the positive and the negative, and, the negative. and then you would have to learn, how, relearn how to speak and so on and so forth. But in using this protocol that, that I say developed, it actually came through me, the advanced programming protocol. It's really what I consider the ultimate su success system because we get rid of the negative beliefs and negative self-judgments like I'm not good enough, not smart enough, not beautiful well, we enough, that way, unfortunately. not whatever enough, people feel unlovable, like one of your, your guests was talking about the, the sex, sex trade operators, yes. typically they have a feeling of unlovability. So we all act the opposite of these feelings, yes. just like a successful businessman. Why does he keep driving himself to have more, do more, be more? Because he doesn't believe that he's done it right. Or should, he he's got he to hasn't keep... done enough. Yeah. He, he's not good enough. He's got to be perfect. 
Even you know, if you've got all the money in the world, you've got all the houses, you've got all the cars, he still doesn't think he's good enough. Right. And because they can't overcome the feeling, they do something like I, I believe happened with Robin Williams. You know, you look at, at suicide as the way out because nothing else is going to work. Well, if we can go in, and this is what this program does, go in and eliminate and neutralize yes. the negative beliefs and negative self-judgments, what happens is that then all of the positive stuff can blossom. Then we actually work in the unconscious, subconscious, and place the positive back in there. Mm -hmm. So all of that can grow and develop. So uh, when we look at all this and we, we think it's quite easy, it's not that easy. And I think you also have to get into a frame of mind that you don't want to destroy yourself completely because, as you said, you're going to destroy the positive. So you have to be careful how you handle this and sort of you know, think that, like, there was a woman sitting here just now, and she said something, and I said, oh, she said, oh, I'm hopeless or something. I said, you're not hopeless, you're wonderful, you're this, you're that. And so, and I could see just by looking at her face and her demeanor that she didn't think much of herself. Right. And that's how we get into this, especially in Vegas, because Vegas, um, there's a lot of young people here that want to go into show business or want to act and do all these, these wonderful things, and they feel they're not good enough, so therefore they never get the jobs. Right. And that's... The main thing is, actually, once you learn the protocol and, and how I teach the protocol, it's for you to actually do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. I can help with the, with the particularly nasty things that people have gone through, the dramas and traumas, uh, even post-traumatic stress for the veterans. Um, all of those types of things can actually be overcome fairly easily once you under, understand the protocol and how to actually okay, do it. Okay, I'm going to ask you, because you, you, you might not be able to answer this, but I'm sure you will, <laughs> one way or the other, is what makes you so different to everybody else that's trying to reach this and trying to get to this um, point of people feeling positive and doing positive things? What, what makes you so different to be able to well, get to that? Okay. Well, there's a few things. One is that I've been doing this for nearly 40 years. I don't really want to date myself, but I started when I, when I was eight. <laughs> but but um, I'd gone through all the positive mental attitude stuff. I was trained to teach all five of the Dale Carnegie courses. I've worked with thousands of people. And what happened for me, how all of this kind of got developed, was that in uh, 1998, I was in a car accident. Two years later, I found out that I broke my neck, my ankle, my lower back. You had bad shape for the shape he was in. Yeah, and, and my <laughs> shoulder. But I, I lived through that and, and the pain of that for two years and then started with the MRIs and found that all of the stuff was there, started going through operations. I went through eight operations in eight years. Wow. They called them failed surgeries. By September of 2012, I was up to 300 milligrams of morphine a day, plus Percocet, plus Soma, plus Xanax, plus all of these it's other a drugs. It's pill box. It was, but that's the that's the medical protocol. Well, I, I know. And I'm, I'm a little bit disgusted with right, the medical right, protocol. Let, of all let, the pills me, we all have to take. Right, let me let me finish. When I got up to that 300 milligrams, I was through with it and did intensive research and came to understand what this protocol is all about. Mm -hmm. I used the protocol on myself within three days. I was totally pain free. Totally. Well, that's how it took him three days and yet you were all that time on the medication. So you should research the medication. So research the medication a little sooner than how he did it. <laughs> well, actually you need to use the protocol to overcome your pain. Maybe not all of it, but even if you got 50% relief, that would be a lot. But normally, when you eliminate and neutralize the negative beliefs and negative self-judgments, that pain will go away. Emotional pain will go away. But then what happened was, when I, I wrote the book, The Advanced Pain Protocol, and started to promote the book, I realized that people out there really don't care about pain. Unless they have serious chronic pain, they don't care about pain. So. I wrote a sequel called The Advanced Programming Protocol when I realized this aspect about the, the six-year-old programming yes. and then the self-judgments from zero to six. And then, again, we act the when we have these self-judgments, the not good enough, smart enough, yeah, we whatever have enough, those. Everybody has we those. act the opposite to try and overcome them, but they never get overcome. No. 
and I, I watch success well, stuff all the time. He has program to do all that. You know, unfortunately we're coming to the end of that time. How can anybody reach you? Uh, you can reach me directly. You can uh, go to my website, sm3success.com. I have a free power lesson there that you can actually do. Um, I'm pretty available uh, right now. You can call me, 928-486-5851. Uh, I'm here in Vegas, and uh, I give... Well for you in Vegas? Yeah. Good. And uh, I do personal uh, coaching, and um, can do Skype and all that type of thing. I have he does, clients he, he does everything. He's got it all worked out, believe me. And he's looking pretty cool. So considering the accident he went through, you're looking amazing. Thank so, you. you know, it's wonderful. And it's wonderful to have somebody like this in town in Vegas because we need a lot of help in Vegas, you know, because we have a lot of the disappointments of not getting a job or not performing or, you know, whatever the case is. Because um, Vegas, as we all know, it's, it's the entertainment place of the world. And right. a lot of people get disappointments because they don't get jobs. On that, thank you for watching Vegas Live with Nina and we shall be back again with another guest. Thank you. Take care.